I'm standing on oxidized copper and we're going to use this today. We have a lot of workstations but not all of them so we're going to be building a functional workshop and we'll be including copper in the build. So hello and welcome to Minecraft School. My name is JD and I'll be your teacher today. Our objectives are number one build a workshop building with a copper roof, two build a forge blacksmith area, and three put in villager workstations that we can use in the future. So we're going to be filling in this area with a building, but let's take a look at how much copper we have. I did start these going and that's that's copper right there. Okay, so we've got all of this as well. I'm not sure how much copper that's going to make, but I need to smelt all of it because we have to make uh, probably slabs. I think I'm going to be using a lot of slabs for a gently sloping roof. And we're not going to be putting in things like a brewing stand or or this, you know, because we already have them. We don't need them. So we got a lot of building to do today. What we're going to start with is a basic box here. Now, don't worry, it's not going to be a very square looking building, but uh, we are going to have the basic interior part like a box, basically. But what's going to be a little bit different is the exterior. And uh, you'll see what I mean, because part of our workshop is going to be on the outside. And I think we're going to have a door there and get rid of that and just finish this up. Now, we're not going to use cobblestone for the base, but we're going to have an interior here with a couple of workstations that uh, we do not have here. And we're going to have a big workstation on the outside, which I think is going to look really good. So we're going to do the blacksmith part outside, which means we need a forge. So we're going to make a forge right here on the outside. So for this forge, we're just going to use a couple of things. We're going to use a furnace and a blast furnace. And right around this, we're going to build up a chimney that's going to go way up in the air. And we'll use a combination of stone types so these should look pretty good so we'll have cobblestone and stone brick we'll see how it looks it may not be the most ideal one but I'm gonna come up with a design for this all right so I've come up with this design here it's a little bit recessed here but I would like to put in something right here a bit of a combination of textures including basalt I think uh, this this will look really good like there it's got a lot of uh, soot and stuff like that and well not like that no 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 not like that <laughs> we definitely don't want it looking like that it's too clean we want it like this and I'll do a couple others like here and maybe out here and the rest is going to be cobblestone which I think will look pretty good combined like that yeah maybe a bit of gravel too now we need to go up a bit higher I'm not worrying too much about this wall yet but this needs to go up and we're going to go up another layer on all sides here so go up like this and let's do a bit of cobblestone what's inside doesn't really matter actually and ah haven't we used much of this yet okay so once we're up at this level I want to put in stairs like this and maybe one here and we'll do stone brick here and we'll do cobblestone here and we're just gonna keep going up now we've got a bit of an interesting shape to our chimney. The last thing I want to do, I need to go all the way to the top again. That's a little too high, but eh, it's okay. So we're going to be putting these around the outside. Let's put a couple like this and maybe
maybe one more over here. Get stone brick stairs. Ah, uh, maybe over here. Just mix it up a bit. And then we're going to put in a cobblestone here. Now I want to put something right in the middle here. And this is going to really make it come alive. And last we have the campfires. And that will make it look so much better. Let's take a look. Just come right over here. And there we go. We got smoke coming out. So we need to do the rest of the building now. That's not everything. It's time for the comment of the video. Now this is from Nightshade Fern. Glow lichen also grows in the ocean. Thought that was strange. Thanks for the walkthrough. Any word on how to get spore blossoms? So first of all, yeah, I knew about glow lichen uh, appearing in the ocean. I found that one time when I was going through one of the snapshots. As for spore blossoms, as far as I know, it's only available in creative or in a single biome world in which you have lush caves. In this world, I don't think I will ever see one unless, of course, they add it to a, a trade with the wandering villager or, or the wandering trader, or if they add it to a chest somewhere. So until then, we're not going to be able to use it, but we will be trying to get a lot of the other things, including glowberries, moss. I would really love to use the moss, especially in here. It is great for landscaping. But thank you for the comment. Now for the rest of the building, I'd like to build up the corners with stone bricks. So I'm just going to see how high we should go here. So one, two, three, I think maybe four. I'd like this to be slightly higher than that part there. So go up four and do the same on all corners. Instead of doing the walls right now, I'm going to start with the roof line. I just want to make sure that it's going to look okay. So I want to start right about here. Actually, I'd like it to go higher uh, because we're going to have a slab on top of there. So we'll start here. Just take this down. And then we're going to go up a bit higher. So let's put this out make it a lot easier for us so we can go up here and then what we do is go like this and we keep going like this so one there one here and we're gonna get close to the middle right away here and that will be right about here I believe and we're gonna go all the way across that way we're gonna do exactly the same thing on this side here so I'm going to get this outline all done. All right, now the frame is done. We need to work on this little bit out here. This is going to be a little gentler of a slope. So this is already coming out. So let's go out one more and down, then out two. And I believe this is the bottom of a block. So I think this may be a good spot to stop. The next thing we're going to do is put the rest of the roof on and that is going to be copper. Now I just want to show you a little trick that we can do with this. This is fully oxidized. Now if we right click with an axe we kind of clean it off. There we go. That's how it was originally. I'll pick this up because I'm gonna need it. So we're going to be crafting all of these into blocks and I'm not sure how many blocks we're gonna get it may not even be enough if not well we're gonna be using a lot of slabs anyways so it'll save a lot of space so we've got all this and let me just see if these can go in as well and uh, there we go 26 now again, we need just slabs, so I'm actually going to figure out how many slabs I need first. We are unfortunately going to be short on some copper, so I'm thinking I'm going to make this central part a little bit wider. That may help a bit. And then we'll put the rest in here as copper slabs. And the way to do that is just to use this. Let's go right here, cut copper slab. 
and 52 slabs. There we go. So we, we're just going to be putting them in along these two rows here and uh, leaving this. I wonder how it'll look. Well, let's let's try. The copper goes in just like any other slabs. Interesting sound as well. And this is going to weather. It's going to change colors. And I want it to. I want to have that nice green color. And so far it's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to put the uh, dark oak here. And we'll see how this looks. There we go. This might be interesting, but I think that strip's going to be a bit too narrow. Hmm. I would prefer it to be the full section there. I may have to do another mining trip. I seem to have miscalculated. It actually worked out very well. I think what I'm going to do here is instead of copper, we're going to put some spruce in here. I think that'll look great. Ouch. And now it's time for the pop quiz. Number one, what's your favorite villager job block? And number two, have you used copper for building? Let me know in the comment section below. This doesn't quite fit, so we're just going to take this out and fill this in with a slab. Uh, well, like that, but yeah, a full block it will work as well. Nah, it's perfectly fine. Okay, so now the roof is all done. Get rid of that. Take a look inside and see we've got some odd things happening here. So I don't think we need these. I think we can actually just put in some regular blocks instead of stairs. Now to get the walls up, which will be all spruce. We are going to have an issue here because we've got some gaps, but we can actually cover that up a bit and I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do but first let's get these in here we got I think a good window in here would be nice this size is maybe okay uh, but this wall I don't want to have a window at all so what we're gonna do let's just get this in first and I'll be right back with you because of these gaps in the ceiling, we're going to have to bring this down a little bit, like this, like this, and like this. So it'll cover it all up, and it'll at least look a little bit more decent in here, because this does not look nice. It's episode 30, which means there's a download available for this world for Iron Tier patrons and all channel members. By becoming a patron or channel member, you get access to world downloads, my supporter Java server, special Discord roles, and more. Check out the links in the description box for more information. And there's the inside. Now, we are going to be raising the floor in here, because I don't like having all this around here, but that means we need stairs out here. And luckily we got it. So we're just going to fill in the inside with a variety of stone and I'll make it look nice and used. I like this. We got a mix of andesite and cobblestone. Actually works out pretty well. Hmm. I need to get a little bit of work done right on the outside here because I don't like how this window looks just like this. So I'm thinking replacing these with stairs and we'll just see how this is going to look. Okay. Yeah, I think that gives it a little bit more depth. And we've got this one on this side as well. But let's work on the interior before we do more work on the exterior. So first of all, let's go in here. And I just want to place a crafting table somewhere in here. And I think probably a good place is somewhere, not this side. This side's going to be pretty full. Actually, I'd like to put it around here. So first thing we're making is a loom. So we need a couple of these and two string. And there we go. So a loom is used to make banners. 
and I don't know, maybe right in the center might be good, and we can put a couple of banners in the sides. Uh, we do need to have some wool for this. We need plenty of wool. We need some kind of pattern and dye so that we can make this. So we'll look at that in a bit. But first, we need to make a cartography table. So we've already gone through the cartography table, right? We've done an, an entire video on this, so we do not really need to concentrate on this, but I do want to make a map of this area. Now, uh, let's make some storage. I think, I don't know, how many of these would be good? Maybe four for now. There we go. And I would like, actually, let's place it, place a couple here and a couple here. And I'd like to do something else a little bit different here. It's a little decoration thing here. So I've got trap door. Okay, there we go. And I like to put the trap door at this level. And then up there, I want to make one more chest. There we go. Oh, let's not throw those out. There we go. So I got the extra one there, and that's just uh, sitting there supporting it, I guess you could say. And is it starting to get dark out? It is. We have one more workstation to do, but first of all, I would like... Actually, does this line up? Yes. Okay, good. I would like to put in some fences just for support on this side. So like this, and I'll do one more over here. So our last workstation. This one, we are going to need iron. Put iron there and wooden planks there. And this is the smithing table. Now the smithing table is what we are going to be using to make all of our diamond items into netherite items. Now I'd like to put this off in, like off in the side here. So maybe, maybe, maybe right here. Although I don't like how that connects. So, um, I think an axe is better for that. Okay, so maybe I'll put it here. And right here will be the anvil. So the anvil should not be connected there. So we've got this little workstation area. I like to do a little bit more work on the, the grounds around here. And in the inside, we still have windows to put in, don't we? Yes, we do. And lighting. So we have a wandering trader out here, but what kind of trades does he have? Can you stop walking away from me? Come here. Come here. Hey, there we go. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't want you. I'm out here looking for some cows so I can grab some really, really nice leather. If I can find a cow, that'd be great. Ah. On second thought, he's got sea pickle. He has brown dye too, but I can make that. Uh -huh. But I want that sea pickle. Uh, let me grab my emeralds. And we've got pillagers over there. Okay, let's do our trade quickly. Look, um, all I want is this, okay? Thank you. I'm going inside. So first, I'm going to cook the sea pickle. Now what this is going to give me is, uh, I believe it is lime green dye. So let's check this out. I'm going to be using this. There it is, lime dye, perfect. Pillagers are still there, but I need cocoa beans. Okay, just grab that. That's all I needed. Let's get back in. And let's turn the cocoa beans into brown dye. I do have a corn flour, but I think I'm going to need more. So let's make our banner. So we need to make six blue wool right there. And I am going to need sticks. All right, so do that. And this, whoops, that goes there. And we got our blue banner. Now we're going to come over here and I'm going to place this in here. It's got a blue banner. And what we need in here is a 
color. So we need, I uh, think it's brown first of all. Okay, right there. And the pattern that I want is going to be, I think, ah, there it is, the diamond. Okay, so we've got this pattern right here. I'll put this back in here. Next is a color, lime dye. And the pattern we want is going to be the bottom half. So if we can find that, it's right there. Okay, and that's it. Why does it look like this? Well, this is kind of a representation of this area. So we've got the mountain, we got the green fields, and we got the blue sky. So this is the banner for our base. But I want to name this. And we're going to be using the anvil right over here. And we're going to name this, let's say, Minecraft School Base. Oh, not enough. Oh, we did. Okay, good, good. Minecraft School Base. There we go. And we need to find a good place to put this, right? I would actually like to hang this banner all around this tower, so on all four sides. But for now, I'm just going to put one right here. This is going to be our marker. First of all, I need to make a map. All right, so of course a map is made with a compass and eight papers. Now this is for Java edition only. You can actually do it much quicker, much more quickly with uh, a craft, uh, not crafting, but cartography table in, in Bedrock edition, but uh, in Java, it's a little more limited. So let's take a look at this map and I think we're going to need another map for over there. Ah, we only have half of our place on here. But anyways, we can actually go up there and click on that. And let's click. There we go. It's on the map. All right, one more map. And there we go. We have both halves. So now we can make the start of a map wall. So first of all, we need to make some item frames. So I'll just make two item frames here. There we go. And we're going to put these up on the wall. So I'm thinking right here and right here will be good. So this one goes here and this one goes here. And there we are, right in the middle. Now we are going to be building in the future all around this area. So this may be all we need, but we may be able to expand. It depends on how much we get done. Much of what I have left to do is decoration. So I'm going to actually put in some gravel around here in a few places. I would like to put it underneath this. It's going to collapse, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll just put gravel around in a few places just because it looks like it's been used a lot, right? And I think that's good. And then we've got our shovel, which is right here. And for this, we can do a bit of path making. That should work. And I'd like to put in a few oak leaves around like this. I think that will go well. Uh, maybe put another one in here. There we go. Over here, I'd like to put another one. But before I do that, I have some dirt to fill in because this is ugly. So I just want to get this filled in and let that green over. But we're going to pretty much do the same kind of thing. Look, our first slab of copper is changing color. I'm going to actually let this all change to be, to be uh, fully oxidized. And then I'm going to be peeling back a bit of the, the oxidation and waxing them. Now, waxing will lock them, uh, lock the color in. But not for now. This is going to take a while to turn all green, but I think it'll look great when we have a bit of a mix of green and slightly orangey. But let's take a look at what we've done here. Uh, we've got the outside here. I put in a little bit of storage, not too much. Probably just put in some coal in here. A little greenery here to just help separate. I think that works uh, a bit better. Got some greenery in there as well. And uh, let's take a look around the rest. Lots of greenery. 
all around. So it looks a bit better and I need to bone meal this. So we'll have some flowers growing up there and grass as well. Same thing back here. It's a bit greener now. It looks a bit nicer. So let's take a look inside. Not much has changed. I just added this and this to the shelf. Uh, we could add something else here. Um, possibly a work in progress map, which I don't have right now. Uh, it could be like a, a, a shipwreck, or a, not a shipwreck, but a treasure map. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I think that is looking pretty good. I am not going to take you into this with shaders because unfortunately shaders are not available in 1.17's Optifine yet. Uh, hopefully that will be soon. But it is time for your homework. So I'd like you to take a screenshot of your workshop and post it on my Discord server in the homework channel. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. We do have one more building in this area. Uh, not here. I'm thinking of putting a little garden in here and maybe a little bit back there. But I think that can be just a little tiny project. But we have something way up there to build. Can you guess what I'm going to put inside it? Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.